In this lecture of the course, we want to explore business and data understanding. Phase 1 of CRISP MLQ is critical as it sets the foundation for the entire data analysis process. In this phase, the business objectives and requirements are defined and the problem statement is articulated. The goal is to establish a clear understanding of what the business hopes to achieve with the data analysis project and to identify the key stakeholders involved. By the end of this phase, the business objectives and requirements should be well defined and a preliminary plan of action should be in place. So we already know these machine learning product requirements. And at the left, we see the steps involved in this phase of CRISP MLQ. And now we can see that how the machine learning product requirements map to each step of CRISP MLQ. So the business value requirement maps to business success criteria. Model quality requirements maps to machine learning success criteria. Technical feasibility requirement maps to feasibility. And data quality requirements maps to data catalog profiling and verification. The tasks of business understanding are seen at the screen. The first one is to articulate the machine learning business value. It's important to first articulate the problem statement clearly in a concise and specific manner. For example, predicting customer churn or detecting fraudulent transactions. It's also required to clarify the business value requirements for the proposed machine learning product and discuss the value propositions alignment with the machine learning solution. A helpful approach is to define a non-machine learning benchmark to communicate the impact of the machine learning tasks with the business stakeholders. The second task is defining success criteria. Success criteria can be a business success criteria and machine learning success criteria. According to the IEEE standard for software development lifecycle or SDLC processes, the measurable requirement is one of the essential principles and each success criterion must be defined in alignment with the other and the overall system requirements to prevent contradictory objectives. Therefore, we process measuring the success criteria of a machine learning product or project on two levels the business success criteria and the machine learning success criteria. Usually multiple machine learning criteria are associated with one business success criterion. In terms of business success criteria, adding a business success criterion as a key performance indicator or KPI to the project or product is the best practice. A KPI is a financial measure of the relevance of the machine learning application. Business value requirements must be articulated at this stage of machine learning product development. For example, suppose a machine learning application is planned for a quality check in manufacturing production and is believed to outperform the manual failure rate. In that case, the KPI can be defined as cost saving with automated quality check per part. Machine learning success criteria. Translate the business success criteria into machine learning success criteria and define the purpose and success criteria of the machine learning application. It's advised to define a minimum acceptable level of performance based on the model quality requirements to meet the business criteria. In the above example, if machine learning is supposed to outperform the current manual failure rate of 3%, the minimal success criterion is defined as accuracy greater than 97%. The third task is check feasibility. Checking the technical feasibility before setting up the project is considered the best practice for the overall success of machine learning and can minimize the risk of premature failure due to false expectations and assumptions. A feasibility test of the machine learning application should assess the situation and whether further development should be pursued. Note it's common to demonstrate the feasibility of a machine learning application with a proof of concept or POC when the machine learning algorithm is used for the first time in a specific domain. If a POC already exists, setting up a software project that focuses on the deployment directly is more efficient. 
The fourth task is assure machine learning product legal and compliance. Legal and compliance constraints are essential for any business application, including the machine learning applications. Legal and compliance constraints are frequently augmented by ethical and social considerations like transparency, fairness, and trust. The relevant requirements such as interpretability requirements and ethical considerations should be clearly defined and articulated at this stage to ensure the final product is compliant with the regulatory policies and requirements. The next task is to create a product development plan. In this plan, you work out the timeline and milestones and what is being delivered at each milestone, your risk management that may include a risk register and a mitigation plan for each risk, then the team structure and roles, budget and resources, and stakeholder management. For stakeholder management, there are different ways of identifying stakeholders and how you engage them. A very common one is to create a stakeholder management matrix. In a stakeholder engagement matrix, each stakeholder will be associated with how much influence they have on the project and how much interest they have on that project. Then based on that, you define your level of engagement with each stakeholder. The sixth task is define data catalog, profile, and verification. Cost and time are needed to collect enough consistent data by preparing and merging data from different sources and different formats. A machine learning project or product might be delayed until the data is collected, or it could even be stopped if the collection of data of sufficient quality is not feasible. Collecting data is not a static task, but rather an iterative task. Modification of the data set should be documented to mitigate the risk of obtaining irreproducible or wrong results. Version control on the data is one of the essential tools to assure reproducibility and quality as it allows tracking errors and unfavorable modifications during development. This task has three subtasks. The first one is the data catalog. Data catalog forms the basis for the data understanding, a description of data assets and attributes, and an exploration of the data assets is performed to gain insights into the underlying data collection and processing process. The data catalog should be defined on a metadata level and accessible by all stakeholders so that the information about format units and description of the input signals is expanded by domain knowledge. The next one is data profiling. Data profiling can be done by statistical properties such as average, variance, maximum, minimum, and etc. on data asset attributes. Furthermore, a technically well-funded visualization of the data profiling and distribution should help understand the data assets used for machine learning products. The last subtask is data verification. Data verification is required to check the quality of the production data according to the data quality requirements. In case where the requirements are not met, the data will be discarded and stored for further manual analysis. This helps to reduce the risk of decreasing the performance of the machine learning application by adding low quality data and helps to detect varying data distributions or unstable inputs.